हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द एट्थ पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसेस एंड प्रिंसिपल प्लेन्स एंड दिस इज द फ्लो ऑफ द कंटेंट व्हाट वी हैव फॉलोड अप टिल नाउ लास्ट टाइम वी वर वी हैड स्टार्टेड विद द एग्जांपल्स इन पार्ट नंबर सेवन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड वन एग्जांपल एंड टुडे वील सी एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू For the system shown in figure, find out principal stresses and principal plane. We need to find principal stresses and principal planes for this particular figure. Here, sigma one is hundred newton per mm square. This is a strained material. Sigma one is hundred newton per mm square. Sigma two is also tensile. Nature is same like sigma one. It is a uh, sixty newton per mm square, uh, as previous numerical. But one thing is different. That is, uh, shear stress is also acting. That is tau forty newton per mm square. And uh, in order to keep this uh, particular material stable, there is also complementary shear stress acting. This is by default. Every each and every time it would be acting to keep this in equilibrium. So based on this figure, uh, we'll plot the data at first. Sigma one is hundred newton per mm square tensile. Sigma two is also tensile. It is sixty newton per mm square. This is positive because nature is same as that of the sigma one. Then uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll plot tau. That is shear stress. Value is minus forty newton per mm square. Here it is mentioned forty newton per mm square. But the only thing why it is uh, negative is because it is anti-clockwise on vertical plane. We need to check for the vertical plane. This. It is moving in anti-clockwise direction. This both arrow, it will rotate. It is. It will act like a couple. So it is negative. Anti-clockwise is negative. If it was clockwise, then we would take on it. It as positive. Tau is negative forty newton per mm square. So this is our data. We need to find principal stresses and principal plane. Now, in order to find principal stresses and principal planes. we need to find sigma n1 that is a major principal stress sigma n2 that is minor principal stress formula we already have studied uh sigma t max that is a maximum tangential stress this is the formula for it and uh, we need to find value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 by using this formula 10 to alpha 1 is equal to 2 tau upon sigma 1 minus sigma 2 Uh, making alpha one subject, we'll be able to find out its value, and uh, alpha two is uh, alpha one minus ninety. In this way, we'll solve the numerical in this pattern. What we have studied, uh, all the formulas. So at first, from this data, we are having sigma one, sigma two, and tau. Only three things we are knowing. Sigma n one is equal to sigma one plus sigma two by two plus under root sigma one minus sigma two by two whole square plus tau square that is shear stress square whole in under root. Plotting all the values of sigma one, sigma two, and tau, uh, we'll get sigma n one is equal to one twenty four seven one twenty four point seven two newton per mm square tensile because it is positive and uh, the stress was also positive. Sigma n two. Sigma n one, I mean uh, sigma one plus sigma two by two. Here the thing is, here it is plus in my minor principal stress. It is minus. Rest of the things are same. So the answer will be thirty-five point twenty-eight newton per mm square. This is also tensile because it is also positive. Nature will be same. Then moving further, maximum tensile uh, stress will be sigma n one minus sigma n two by two. This formulas we already know from the theory and theory and the formula part what we have studied in the previous parts. You can refer my previous lectures if you wish. Sigma n one is one twenty four point seven two. Sigma n two is thirty five point twenty eight. What we just derived from the formulas divided by two. That is uh, sig uh, sigma t max is forty four point seven two newton per mm square. Then. Ten to alpha one is equal to two tau upon sigma one minus sigma two. So in th by solving this two into tau, tau is minus forty from the data. Sigma one minus sigma two hundred minus sixty. It is minus two. So two alpha is equal to ten inverse uh, plotting uh, like sigma. I mean uh, two alpha is equal to ten inverse minus two. We'll be having answer. 
value of uh, alpha 1 will get minus 31.72 degree you can try and solve it in calculator scientific calculator ms 82 ms then after finding the value of alpha 1 we have to find value of alpha 2 that is uh, alpha 1 minus 90 degree this is degree so in this way we will get alpha 2 minus 121.72 degree so all the required things are found alpha 1 alpha 2 sigma t max then uh, sigma n1 and sigma n2 in this way we just found the values for all the principal stresses and principal planes so this is the location actually you are when we are uh, plotting uh, finding the angles alpha 1 alpha, alpha 2 that are the location of principal plane so friends this is all for today wait for the ninth part of the topic principal stresses and principal plane where we will continue with the example number 3. Thank you for watching.